I hear another story about someone of law enforcement. Does the unthinkable. They once again think they have the power to do what they want and they think they're untouchable. And then they get caught and then they then they realize they're not untouchable anymore. No. They're going to say, I can get away with it. I can do whatever, whatever I want because I'm a cop. No. It don't work that way. I don't know what universe do you think you're living in. Let's hear. We hear these cops who beat up this one guy. Uh, and then they get caught for mocking him in the video. And then there's this... Uh, deputy sheriff who handcuffs a kid with ADHD thinks he's disciplining him. No, you look like you're torturing him. And then there's this other cop who who uh, slams a 13 year old girl into pavement. And he lied about it but he must have forgot he was being filmed. And now what I heard today a deputy taunts an autistic kid at school. You know, you think in a school would know how to dis know how to handle a kid with this disability. Obviously, they don't. They got to bring in a cop to sound threatening and intimidating. You think that's gonna help? No, it isn't. And I know that deputy's probably going to say, I acted accordingly. No, you didn't. You, th you think you think that information would have been would have been handed to you. Maybe it was, and maybe you just didn't care. That's the problem with people of authority. They just abuse that power. And they just don't think about the consequences. Like the so many others I've just mentioned, and now this now this deputy he's fired because of his actions. It's disturbing. It's not like this kid was intentionally bad. He had autism. And maybe the school should think about think about their way of doing stuff because they obviously don't know what the heck they're doing anymore. I feel sorry for that kid. How oh, badly must have hurt him. You know, the problem with kids with disability, they just... They... They get the short end of the stick a lot of times. I've noticed in a lot of these... Stories I hear. Oh, man. It's like we don't know the good guys from the bad guys anymore. And you wonder why... Well, how come... How come when cops do these outlandish things make the news, but when good cops do something awesome, nobody talks about it? You know why? Because it's their job. And when they do bad things, that's what makes headlines. If you're not going to behave like a cop, you shouldn't have been a cop in the first place. One reason why I would not see the movie Detroit, because the, the trailer, not, the trailers to that film looked unhinging. About a cop who just abuses his power. I've seen it in teachers and cops, people, people of authority think they could get away with anything they want, and they, they're untouchable. And then when they get caught, they sit there with egg on their face. don't know the, the good guys from the bad guys anymore really don't it's a shame it really is my heart goes out to that kid and and to that deputy I hope you learn the error of your ways I really do